Hi Aria, Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we started the quest chain, Call of Water. And we went over to the Hidden Reef, and we spoke with Aquaeus. He told us that there is some corruption in the water in Blood Mist Isle, and that we need to get rid of it. And what we are going to do today is we're going to head down all the way to Ashenvale, and we're going to fill this empty Boda bag with some purified water, so we can heal the waters of Blood Mist. And we also learned an ability. We learned a very special ability. We learned Ghost Wolf. So we got that now. That was big. Probably one of the biggest upgrades we are going to get. And we also put some auctions on the auction house. So let's check those out. All right, so it looks like our silver bars sold. So that's 288 right there. Looks like these didn't sell. It's not that bad. The Silver Moon Tunic sold. I think I sold that for too cheap. I probably should have put it up for more gold. And our Swift Thistle sold for 11 gold. So we are now at 33 gold, 56 silver, guys. Not too bad at all. That's actually really good. Which means we are less than 7 gold away from being able to purchase our mount. So... It's looking good for us. We have 10 more levels to go, and all we need is 7 gold. And we have some, uh... I think we have we have some Swift Thistle on us, and a couple of BOEs maybe, or maybe one. So we can put those up on the auction house. Alright, so let's head Each down to the Exodar. Well. And what we are going to do, we are going to go from the Exodar, and we're going to go to this, uh, dock right here. We're going to take a boat all the way down to Darkshore. And we haven't even been to Darkshore yet, so that's going to be interesting. And then from Darkshore, we're going to run down, and we're going to head over to Ashenvale. And then here we're going to go to the pool we need to find. We're going to use our Boda bag, and then we're going to hearth back, and then we'll meet up with Aquaeus again. We'll see what's going on. So yeah, a lot of traveling today, guys. But I think this quest chain is worth completing. I have a feeling we're going to get uh, water walking, hopefully. So that's really the only water ability that I know of for shamans, and it's a really damn good one. It's nice to be able to put water walking on your character and just, you know, run across the water. You can even do it on your mount, I believe, so it's pretty damn strong. Alright, so here we are, already at the Exodar. Alright, Ghost Wolf time. I'm really pumped about getting that gold. Really pumped. Means we we're most likely going to get our mount at level 30. And there's the boat. Is the boat leaving? That's so unlucky. Oh, man. Alright, we're going to go take a little trip to uh, the Exodar here. We're going to do a little... A little auction house stuff, why not? I'm going to put some stuff on the auction house. And then we'll run out. I think we can do that by the time the boat comes back. It's going to be a little race. We got Ghost Wolf, we can do it. I don't think we've ever been down this entrance on uh, Squidly Diddly yet. It's kind of like the the back entrance. We'll make sure we take it when we leave so we can get to that boat quick. We just got to get to the auction. I was kind of kind of fast here. I'm going to put the Swip Thistle up. But that, that herb, Swift Thistle, it's usually the herb that'll get you the most gold at the beginning of the game. The more Swift Thistle you can get, the better. Because for some reason, it always holds a pretty high high price, which is great. Okay, so here we are. We're going to pick up the junk that we got. I'll probably just put the, the axe... I don't think we got anything else. May the light embrace you. 
There's no acts of stamina. There you go, twin bladed axe. Two gold for the twin bladed axe of agility. It's a nice one. I guess we'll throw ours up for 199. We'll see if it sells. It's really cheap for a two hander, so I think it should sell. And then we'll put up this tiger's eye. Three silver for the tiger's eye. Sell this for 10. That's pretty damn cheap. Crunchy spiders. Oh, 480 for 10. So we'll put ours up for 470. Okay, so that should be it. I don't really see anything else that we want to put up there. Check out this sharp claw. This stuff's probably really dirt cheap. Put this up for four silver. Then we gotta make a move. We gotta start moving. We're gonna be late. Murloc, I yeah. Favor the road, travel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully we get those sales. That'll get us another, I guess, two gold, maybe 250. And then we'll be only five gold away from our goal of getting our mount. And then after that, we can focus on gear and profession upgrades and all that stuff. go the secret back route hopefully we make it on time to get on the boat I love ghost wolf it would take me like much longer to get there get here <laughs> The Paladin's gonna be rough. I gotta wait until 30 to get the mount, but at least the mount's free, so. That's the benefit of being a Paladin. See, there's the boat. Is it leaving, or is it coming back? Aw, oh, man. We were too long. That looks like... That looks like a going away boat to me. Yeah, it's better to be patient, guys. But at least we got some stuff on the auction house, so it wasn't a total waste, but we need to speed it up there a little bit. That's too bad. That just tells me that it doesn't take that long for the boat to come here from, le from leaving, so. Let's see what these guys have to say. Got a Druid Trainer, so this is where the Druid Trainer is. This land has been ravaged by the crash. While you may not follow our philosophy, Shaman, I urge you to do whatever you can to aid the healing process. Greetings, Squidly Diddly. So I guess they're the Druid Ambassadors. And the Druids, you know what's funny? The Druids are not allowed inside the Exodar. I wonder why. I guess since they believe in Elun, they're kind of seen as heretics by the Draenei who believe in the light and the Naru. So they were like, hey, you guys can uh, do your teachings outside of our, the Exodar. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, actually. I always think it makes me f kind of feel like the Draenei are a bit, you know, stuck up. They're not very, they're not inclusive. I guess you could say. A little squirrel here. I'll leave him alone. Don't want to upset those night elves. Alright, there's the boat. Pretty damn fast. No wonder we couldn't make it. Check out the quest as well. 
It is worse than I feared. The corruption is very potent, and if unchecked, it could spread to the ocean currents and be carried throughout all of Azeroth. We are going to need a sample of the purest water to counter this malignancy. There is a forest on the nearby continent of Kalimdor named Asherdale. Near its southwestern border is a place called the Ruins of Stardust. Take this boat bag and fill it with the water from the fountain on the small island at the center of the ruins. Hurry. Alright, so we'll do that. Gives us kind of an idea where we gotta go. I think I know where that is. The good thing about this trip is we are going to be getting some flight points. Going to be getting a flight point in Darkshore and in Ashenvale. Most likely go to Ashenar and Ashenvale. Check that town out. And then we'll be heading over to Aberdeen right now. I think that's where this boat will drop us off. It's probably in Aberdeen. the green look going on. Let's see what type of gear we, we really need wrists. And I should be doing a dungeon soon on Squiggly Diddly. Probably try to get into the stockades. And this is our first time leaving the island guys. All the boats are coming in at the same time, that's wild. I think this one here goes to uh, the wetlands. So we could go to the wetlands and head over to Ironforge if we want to. It's pretty awesome how all the boats seem to be here. I forget where this one goes. I think it's probably... Yeah, I'm not sure where this one goes. Probably Darnassus. Yeah, I think it probably goes to Darnassus. Alright, so let's pick up this, uh, this flight point. Nice, we got the Aberdeen flight point. Now it's time for us to just use Ghost Wolf and we'll start heading south. I don't think we'll be questing in Aberdeen. No, it is in our level range at the moment. I want to quest in Westfall. Because I haven't done that yet on Alliance. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Because we may be too high of a level by the time we leave Blood Mistyle, but we'll check it out anyways. But I want to go down that way, because Dead Mines is there, plus the Stockades, and I, I want to do those dungeons. I wonder what other dungeons are in our our level range. Yeah, Shadowfang Keep would be fun to do as well. I think we'll try to do that. Black Fathom Deeps will probably do, yeah. 100%, that's right in Ashenvale. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of dungeons to look forward to. A lot of gear to look forward to as well. So we really need some gear. Can't wait till we get dual wield. That's when we'll be pumping out the damage. I wonder what level that is. Assume it's like level 40. Which isn't that bad. Shouldn't take us that long.
And we might actually see some horde today. Because we're going to be going down to Ashenvale. Ashenvale usually has uh, some horde questing there. Right now we're in Darkshore. This is considered an alliance territory. It's pretty much the barons of the alliance, I would say. Even though the barons is... It's like ten times better than Darkshore, in my opinion, but... I would consider it to be the Barons. Or maybe Westfall would be the Barons for the Alliance. Who knows? Elwyn, I think Elwyn Forest is probably my favorite starting Alliance zone at the moment. The Draenei one been has been fun, though. But, um... They just don't have any epic fights like Hogger and uh, Goldtooth that I've seen yet. And I don't know, it's just, it's more nostalgic, Elwyn Forest. You got Stormwind right there. But usually after Elwyn Forest, a lot of people choose to either come here to Darkshore, or they head over to Westfall. Darkshore is a pretty good place to come to, because... Get to go to Darnassus. You get a lot of flight points on the Kalimdor side of the map. We haven't done met much uh, RP on this character yet. I think we need to try to find uh, a Draenei Naru guild, even though Squidly Diddly is not a fan of the Naru at the moment because of all the tragic things that have happened to him in his life due to his family being slain by the orcs and Naru forsaking them in Outland. Or maybe I should call it Draenor. That's probably Draenor times. I kind of forget the story. I kind of remember it, but... This person knew? Miley Wintermoon. Dungeon boosts are lame. Fight me. <laughs> I agree. Dungeon boosts are lame. But I understand why people do them. If, the, if you want to raid with your friends and you don't want to do the big journey and quests, then you got to do what you got to do. You either buy a boost or you do dungeon boosting. Well, it looks like we are going in Ashenvale, you can tell by the change in the music. This place has like a real night elf vibe to it. I hope we see a horde player. I don't know how we'll do, but I think we'll do all right. Should probably get buffed up here, just in case. But this is like the best time to do this quest because we have Ghost Wolf. So it doesn't take us long to travel. And we are looking for the city of Ashnar. I always hated Ashnar as a horde player because it's literally right in the middle of um, of Ashenvale. Oh, we got a Hellebore. Night Elf Druid. It's in the guild called Pog. Level 16 here. It's kind of low for Ashenvale. But back to what I was saying. Ashenar's literally in the middle of Ashenvale. So as a horde player, you literally you have to go all the way around it just to get over here. It's a really annoying thing to, to run around.
I remember when I was on my Warrior when Classic Servers just came out. And I played... I played a lot of WoW. First week of Classic launch. And... I got to Ashenvale, me and my buddy, Burn a Cannon. And we got our first honorable kill against, uh, I believe it was a warlock. We were just loving it. That was the beginning of the journey. Kind of, well, it's our first honorable kill. It's, it's big. You get out in the world and you actually get in your first fight. completely wrecked him. He was like 2v1 and I think his hunter buddy was behind him and he came and then he just ran away and we couldn't catch him. And that was the beginning of the world PvP mayhem on that on that server for me. Alright, so there we go. We got the Hippogriff Master here at Ashenar. And I believe the pool of water we want to find is just south of here. Ashenar is a really nice, uh, it's a nice uh, village, I guess you could call it. I haven't leveled as a night elf yet. I think I'll, uh, probably, we'll get a night elf one going soon. Maybe we'll get a, an undead one as well. I'm gonna try to get all the races played eventually on this channel. We'll try to check out all the starting zones. Oh, so we got a bear on us. Here are the ruins. It looks like a high elf to me. More like a blood elf than a than a night elf. Here we are in the ruins of Stardust. And we have to go to the middle here. These, these guys are level 22, so we gotta watch out. So we could uh, be running into some trouble here. Oh, we're already getting attacked. This guy's level 23, dude. You're not casting on me. Crazy. It's pretty damn hard. Can we attack him? Is he gonna cast? There we go. Nice scroll of protection. We're gonna use that right now. And then we're going to uh I'm gonna use Kit to the Naru. I think there's a well. Is this the water that he's that he's talking about in here, or do we have to actually go to the middle? I believe we need to go to the middle. Here's the boat of bag. I guess we'll just put that here. And gotta find the stardust fountain. Assume that's in the middle. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna pull this guy. Problem is, maybe he'll run to us, hopefully. Nice. Lightning cloud. We're missing a lot of our hits here. All right, let's heal up. And then we'll have a drink finish off these waters. I think the fountain is just up here. Can watch out for these rain collar guys. And so there we go, we found, we have officially found the fountain. Kind of a, it's an okay screenshot. <laughs> I don't know if we'll use it, but we'll take that. Oh no, they're defending it. This guy's a big boy. He's level 24. 
This guy is no joke. These guys are oh, great tangling roots. Probably gonna use the health bot here. Health bot. Use a healing wave. Nice. Healing waves. Pretty damn strong. Alright, let's use the bow to bag. We'll get the pure water sample. There we go. It's all done. Let's try to get it. Take one that's a little further back. There we go. All right, so we're done with that. That is the end of our journey, so I guess we will hearth back. And then we'll go see Aquaeus. I wonder if we should see Aquaeus. Oh, maybe it'll be a better idea Welcome. if I... Browse at your I have a feeling that we're not done yet. Be kind to those less fortunate. Probably gonna have to turn it in and then do another quest. May I be of service? We forgot to turn this in. It's gonna sell some junk here. We forgot to put the swip thistle on the auction house. It's not good. At least we're making some space. I guess we'll go see Aquaeus, why not? I gotta finish a days be long. I gotta finish the quest. I just don't want the episode to be like an hour. It's only been twenty seven minutes, so it's only and it's probably only gonna take us three minutes to get there. So we should be alright. Wish I put that swift thistle on the auction house. If that's sold, we probably would be close to uh, forty gold. Yeah, it shouldn't take us that long to get to the, the hidden reef. Looks like our buffs are going to be gone pretty damn soon. But we do have a lot of uh, herbs, which is good. Got a briar thorn over there, you know we're gonna pick that up. Because that has a chance at getting swift thistle. Nope, none today. It's over here a peace bloom. So that's good. I guess we'll make... Uh, do we need to make any hurt? No. We have a decent amount of potions to craft. I mean, to use. And to craft, too. We can craft a bunch as well. We're going to need to craft some more. Should probably make some lesser, lesser healing pots, because we got this briar thorn. I might make another two minor healing pots. We really do need these lesser healing pots. If we didn't have them there, we probably would have died. There we go. Got a silver leaf over here. I wonder if we still get a... Where's this silver leaf? There it is. No, we don't get any more XP from them. That's okay. Excess silver leaf's not that bad. We can always sell in the auction house. And the one thing that's going to suck is when we're going to we swim down to talk to Aquaeus. Yeah, it's going to be a pain. Because we're, we're going to be on a timer. 
because we don't have underwater breathing. I think we might get that too. I think shamans have that. Like an ability where they can... Can you attack? You can attack as a wolf? I didn't know that. Alright, I guess we'll use uh, Gifts of the Naru. And we may be going on a swim pretty soon. Look at all that strangle kelp down there. That's probably another herb I should, should have sold. We have a lot of it. We have 14. I was kind of in a hurry. Samo flants. Another level 20 shaman. He was probably doing call of the water as well. Alright, so here we are at the hidden reef. It's just over here. Not great. Resisted it. Can't believe he resisted it. Oh, this other one's coming. <laughs> We're in trouble. Okay, we're gonna have to bring this guy up. He might run out of breath. Now he ran out of mana. It's kind of bad. So we can't eat or drink in the water. And we're surrounded by murlocs. I know there's murlocs down there. But one thing we can do in the water, we can bandage ourselves, so we'll do that. And then we'll slow, slowly make our way over to Aquaeus. We could also get these pots up. There we go. Should give us some health regen. Time for us to take a deep dive. Hope it's not a long read. Because <laughs> if it is, I don't know. I'm going to try my best. Oh, there's a water bubble here. So that, that could mean that we can get our breath. Yes, okay. That's cool. All right. You have the pure water from the ruins. Water parts easily. Yet, put enough of it together and it will create an unstoppable force. It washes away earth and fire and easily pushes air out of the way. We are that unstoppable force, squilly dilly. Not those that have poisoned blood mistyle. I've determined where the corruption is coming from. It is by the product of some demented research and you're going to put an end to it. Just to the southwest of the Foul Pool is a small camp. There you will find the research of Telathian, the Impure. This is where he produces the filth that has been seeping into the island's water. Use the pure water to you obtained from Ashenvale to destroy his cache of barrels that will be sure to put to burn him out. We will have an end to this. All right, so here we go. Looks like we have to have a fight here. Let's get this strangle kelp, though. There we go. We almost have a 20 stack of the strangle kelp. I think we only need three more. Be nice to get a 20 stack. That'll probably guarantee us to get... I hate these murlocs, too. Got time for you. Let's go. Let's see if we can find this kelp. There it is. Please do not fail the pick. Oh my gosh. This is so risky. I don't know if this is a good idea, dude. 
Okay, we're going up. No, don't die. We're getting that kelp. 16 silver. Where's the... There's 17 strangle kelp. If we get three here, we have a stack. A stack's got to sell for at least five gold. I would guess. This is like a pretty annoying herb to pick. Alright, we almost have a stack. We need one more. And we'll be probably coming back to Aquaeus eventually. There's another one right down here. This should give us 20 stack. And then with that two swift thistle should be oh my god. Always gotta ruin our fun the warlocks. Please don't fail the pick. Nice. Here we go. We got our 20 stack. I think we're going to get our mount pretty damn soon. And that means that... I wish I probably should have equipped a chess piece. That's okay. It's okay that we sold it, but at the moment I wish I just equipped it, because then we'd be doing more damage. I swear the only class I enjoy swimming on is a druid, because you can shapeshift into aquatic form. And it's really fast. Swimming on any other class kind of sucks. Or maybe it's just because I've played a druid that every other class is just not the same. <laughs> when you swim. What if we can go this way to get around? So we do need to go to the foul pools. Supposedly it is southwest. It doesn't look like we can go around that way. You have to go southwest, right? Yeah, southwest of the foul pool. So I assume it's like right around here, or right here. Silverleaf. So I don't know where this cache of barrels is. But I think we will find it. Looks like we have to fight this guy named Talathion. We need to retrieve his head. And I hope he's uh, not too high of a level for us, but I think we're in the level range of this quest chain, so it could be a challenge. should be fun. Let's see how tough this Telathian guy is. I just have to find this small camp. Up here is, um... An Earthroot and a Briarthorn back there. I'm getting that. It 
should be in the vicinity now. So we're gonna have to fight this guy. Can make some more health pots. Didn't get any swift thistle with that. It's too bad. So I guess we'll keep exploring. I think up here is a it's a drain eye camp. Indicators rest. This could be it over here. To the southwest of how there is a small camp there you'll find the research of Teleathian the Pure. So we're looking for research here. So this could be the small camp he was talking about. Just have to find his research. Oh, there's like a book on the ground here. Chest. Let's so check out this battered chest. Another silver bar, that's good. Should be another two gold. So we have to find this research here. This place looks pretty interesting right here. It seems like this is where it should be. This has to be the camp that he's talking about. Oh, looks like we have a, a warlock here getting into some fights. Look at that, we found a barrel of milk. What would happen to our warlock? I think this is where he would be. I'm not too sure. I think we might have gone a little too far. There's all the anomalies. I don't think it's over there or in the pool. You'd think this Talathian guy would be running around or something like that. Yeah, I'm a little lost. I would guess this is where he would be. Oh, damn it. That's an attack in me. Maybe it's up here. Yeah, around this thing. It's set up here. To a little healing wave. 
the vector coil. These guys are elites, dude. Fight this guy. And that's why you take the one second reduction time in casting Ghost Wolf. It's just so you could get away. Is that him? Mattis the Cruel. At least we found him. Don't know where this Talathian guy is. Yeah, I'm pretty lost. I would assume he's in one of these camps here. I guess we'll just keep searching. Supposedly we're looking for his... Uh, His research. And there's Mattis the Cruel. I guess we'll stay away from him. Doesn't say anything about... Yeah, I'm not too sure. You would think this is would be the research right here, this book on the ground. And then we went down here already. Didn't find anything. Up here wouldn't really make any sense unless this is an elite quest, but it's not. Doesn't seem to be any research here. Yeah, I'm not too sure. There is that one camp up here. We haven't checked out. Can always check this camp out. Maybe he's in this one. I'll fight this guy. Yeah, we'll check this last camp out. If he's not here, then I may just have to call it quits for today. Try to figure it out. Because if he's up there where the elites are, I don't think I'm. Nice, we got a shield. It's a pretty damn nice shield. Let's have a little drink while we wait, while we check this out. Four block, one stam. This one has way more armor. Yeah, we'll probably use this. I don't really think we need to save the BOEs anymore. So we got a new shield, that's nice. And let's see if we can find some research here. Is that him? No. It's just a Sunhawk defender. What's he defending? Doesn't look like anything. Yeah, if he's up there in the in the, the vector coil, then we might have to wait to do this quest. Cause I can't go up there. I'm just gonna get wrecked. <laughs> that one elite was just trucking me.
Might be the vector coil because that is southwest of the foul pools. Like right here is doesn't get any more southwest than that. I got a silver ore, not bad. Guess we'll have a drink. Gosh. Yeah, I think we might call it here. I'll try to figure out where we should go. And we might have to take a break on this quest chain. So I don't think I can deal with elites yet. Maybe when I hit like level 22, we could fight these blood elf elites. But I don't see him anywhere. We went to all three camps. And he doesn't seem to be at any of them. So I guess we'll just head back to Blood Watch. It's too bad. We'll figure it out eventually. Is that him? No. I wish Mattis was the cruel was the actual person we're looking for. Just southwest of the Foul Pool is a small camp. This is where we went to a small camp. Went to every single one. This is, like, I wouldn't say the Vector Coil is a small camp. There you will find the research of Talathian the Impure. This is where he produces the filth that's been seeping into the island water. Use the pure water you obtain from Ashenvale to destroy its cache, its cache of barrels. That will bring him out. Okay, we're going back. We're figuring this out. So we have this water on us. Maybe that's why I can find him. So there's like a cache of barrels. I assume... Yeah, so we just have to find his cache. I wonder if these, like, crystals are considered caches of barrels. Out of range. It's odd. Can't do nothing. Out of range. We've seen a milk barrel back there. Maybe he's at this one that's a little bit closer to the water. But we're looking for a cache of barrels. It's not gonna work on this milk crate. Maybe that's it? <laughs> These things that are attacking the water? I think it's probably these things. It's a 
just a guess though. Oh great. No, it's not those. Oh man. pick up this milk barrel. <laughs> Since we're getting a lot of XP, we actually might hit level 21 here. Does that look like a, like a barrel? Like... These aren't barrels. These like it might be up in. Uh... You think these things would be it? That's not it either. What happened to this guy? It's kind of wrecked. Yeah, I'm a little bit lost here. I don't want to have to go up here. But if I do, I have to skip all this stuff. It's probably up here. Try fighting one of these guys. I do literally no damage to him. I'll fought. Probably kill one, but. I assume his cache of barrels is probably up here. That's probably not. It'd be so dumb if I, like, fought my way up there. And they're just not there. They're down here. <laughs> it would say elite quest, though. And most of the time it does that. Yeah, I think... I think I'm just lost. And it's, we're getting over an hour now. I wish they gave us more of a clue than just southwest small camp. There's literally like four small camps here. You would think the right here is where it would all be. They're like throwing it into this. Maybe it's up here. Because this is where the river is. I'll try that. Okay, leave us. Okay, leave me alone. Leave me alone, defender. This guy should have stayed asleep. I'm gonna see if it's up here. This is where the river is. I think they'd be dumping the barrels into the... into here. Or maybe it's up there. I can't go up there, though. I can, but it's, like, gonna be a mission. This defender literally chased me for... A, for an hour. <laughs> Not that hour, but chase me for a while. Yeah, I'm getting a little frustrated here. Because it's not in any of these camps. I don't see a cache of barrels anywhere. It's it's probably it's got to be in the vector coil. 
That's my guess. It's up in the vector coil, and that's going to be a pain to get up to. Now I'm going like way off track. I'm going back into the wild. Just wondering if there's like a small camp out here that I just haven't seen. Oh man, kind of love the dazes. Thing is, we're gonna get level 21 here. Go, level 21. Now we can speed up our improved ghost wolf by one more second. Now it's like instant cast. It's awesome. Alright, well. I've lost. We could check out this Vindicator's Rest. I know that is just a drain eye spot. It's not going to be here. I'm going to go to the middle one again. And we're just going to go look around. It's my last time doing it. I know we've been doing this for over an hour. Probably should have quit when I said I wanted to quit. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but now we're, we're... I feel like I'm just stuck doing this. I need to find out. I'm getting frustrated, though, with it. Because they don't really give you a... Like, I'm here at the spot. There's no, like, barrels. Or anything like that. There's nothing here that says, like, hey, there's barrels here. It's got to be up there. It's up top. There's another shield. Six block, 378 armor. Is that better than ours? And it has two intellect, two spirit. It's better armor. It's a better shield. So we're going to take it. Looking pretty basic, though. Alright, well... I think, um... Yeah, it's just time to go back. I think it's up in the, the vector coil. And I'm not gonna go up there and do an hour-long... fight. Just to go up to the vector coil. Like, I could do that, but... Then this episode would be two hours. It's a prior thorn over here. Yeah, we'll just head back to uh, Blood Watch. And we'll figure this out. I wouldn't say it's like a failed quest or anything like that, but... You know, sometimes you just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> That's about it. That's how it goes. I have a good feeling, though, it's up in the vector coil. That's a pretty hardcore uh, shaman quest line. If we have to literally go up to an elite boss and fight him, it's going to be pretty epic, and we might do that next episode. Funny thing is, I have a feeling I was probably running past the barrels the entire time, and I just didn't know that they were barrels. His cache of barrels. Where would you keep a cache of barrels? I don't know. We looked. I, we're already so far away now. Like, I'm not going back. 
We just had to find his cache of barrels. I just don't know where they are. I feel kind of shitty too. I don't. I don't really like giving up like this. But it is what it is. I'm not going up on the vector coil. And we clearly don't know where his cache is. And he said it was southwest. Which is where we were running around the entire time. But yeah, I don't know, guys. We're going to have to figure that out next episode. But I guarantee next episode we're going to get the head of Talathian. We're at least going to try. But as always... Thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.